My reaction to being told that I have cervical cancer was, I'm 31 years old, I have three young children, how could I possibly have cancer? Cancer is an abnormal growth of cells that will either grow locally or spread to another part of the body. And when you have that abnormal growth of cells, it can crowd out other normal, healthy parts of the body. Radiation is a cornerstone of the treatment of cancer. When we think about the tools that we have to fight cancer, we think about surgery, treatment that will affect the entire body, such as chemotherapy or targeted therapy, and now potentially immunotherapy. Radiation has a more local effect. Radiation therapy can be used in cooperation with surgery. In many cases, radiation therapy is the primary treatment, often combined with chemotherapy, which may make it more effective. There are a number of different radiation modalities that are used in the treatment of female malignancies. We have external radiation, and that's where you bombard a tumor with a very, very strong X-ray. You can also use internal radiation therapy, which is usually delivered by a technique called brachytherapy, which is where you will place radiation, for example, into the vagina or within the uterus to place a radioactive source very close to a tumor and therefore reduce doses to the surrounding organs. The treatment of gynecologic malignancies with radiation can be challenging, but our success rates are typically quite high. The majority of women with vaginal, vulvar, cervical, and uterine malignancies are often cured. If not cured, radiation has oftentimes the ability to prolong a patient's life and reduce symptoms associated with these cancers. This is the toughest thing I've ever done, and I am going to continue to fight.